on the screen, the, the Bible passage from Luke 5. Don't worry, don't, don't fear. No temas. Why don't you fear? Because I'm going to make you fishers of men. Desde ahora serás pescador de hombres. And we've been hearing about God's vineyard these past weeks, and we're going to hear it again today, about we are workers in the vineyard, fishers of men, serving the Lord, and how He calls us, graciously calls us. It's His good will that He makes us His people and then gives us the gifts and the talents to serve Him in His vineyard. And we're going to hear about two sons. One son said, I'll go. And the other son said, no. And, uh, but the first son who said, I'll go, didn't. And the second son, um, he, he went after he relented. So we're, we're um, going to be hearing that story from Matthew. So let's get started by singing uh, our Bible passage. This is the day the Lord has made. We'll be glad and rejoice in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. We will rejoice, we will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made, we will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. That the Lord has made. Español. Este es el día, este es el día que el Señor creyó, que el Señor creyó. Me gozaré, me gozaré en el día de hoy, en el día de hoy. Este es el día que el Señor creyó. Me gozaré en el día de hoy. Este es el día. Este es el día que el Señor creyó, que el Señor creyó. Oh, again. It's a wonderful, beautiful day in the Lord always as we live with the blessings of our faith in Jesus, our resurrection, our sure resurrection. And we continue by hearing about how we're connected to Jesus. He is the vine and we are the branches. When Jesus was on earth, he was both fully man and fully God, meaning that he knew everything there ever was or is to know. He wanted to pass on as much information as he could, but much of what Jesus had to share would be difficult for his listeners to understand. To help, Jesus would teach using stories called parables. Other times he would use examples of things that occur in nature. One such instance occurred while Jesus was teaching a group of people while in Jerusalem. Jesus told the crowd, I am the true vine, and my father is the gardener. Jesus knew that the people in the crowd that day would understand what it takes to plant, grow, and care for a fruit-bearing vine. By using this comparison, Jesus taught the audience how God cares for us. A vine is planted in good soil, watered, and watched carefully to see if anything is needed to help it grow. Branches sprout from the vine. Some grow fruit, others do not. Branches that bear no fruit are cut off and thrown away. These steps help the vine to grow strong, flourish, and bring about lots of beautiful, delicious fruit. The people in the crowd that day understood that a seed planted and left alone could grow and maybe even bear fruit, but it would not do as well or live as long as one tended to lovingly. Jesus continued by telling the crowd that God is the gardener, Jesus is the vine, and we are the branches. This means that God, the gardener, is our creator and loving caretaker. And Jesus is the vine from which we, the branches, draw life and the ability to grow and bear fruit. The people in the crowd that day understood that a branch not attached to a vine cannot grow or bear fruit. Likewise, Jesus taught that without a connection to him, it is not possible to prosper. 
Jesus was using this illustration to help us understand that only in him do we find full and abundant life. Jesus made it clear that if a branch is not connected to the vine, it is impossible for that branch to survive. The branch has to be able to receive the vine's life-giving nutrients in order to live. Without drawing on the vine's full power, the branch will get weak, shrivel up, and fail to bear fruit. These sad branches are cut off and thrown away. When we accept Jesus as our Savior, and try our best to obey Him. We are like branches, connected and fully drawing sweet life from the vine. Living a life connected to Jesus provides us with support, blessing, forgiveness, and the promise of never-ending life in heaven. Jesus longed for His followers to experience a strong connection to Him he explained that the keys to staying connected are love and obedience. Jesus loves us the way his Father loves him. Jesus explained that he shows his Father love by obeying his commands. That means for us to show Jesus that we love him, all we have to do is obey his commands. Obeying Jesus' commands makes him happy, and making Jesus happy will fill us with absolute joy. Our lives become like healthy branches that bear wonderful fruit. To remain connected to Jesus, we must obey his command to love each other the way Jesus loves all of us. Jesus showed his love for us by coming to serve and through sacrifice. We can show each other love like this by helping people and by putting the needs of others before our own. By focusing our attention, effort, and love on others rather than ourselves, our lives bear the good fruit that pleases God. Through this obedience, we show Jesus how very much we love Him. As we show our love for Jesus by obeying His command to love others, we begin to discover just how deep his love for us is. Jesus now calls us friends. As friends, our connection to and knowledge of Jesus blossoms and becomes stronger. Our strengthened connection and faith helps us to prosper and bear fruit that will last forever. The friendship with Jesus that has begun in this life will grow and thrive for all eternity. Our connection to Him will never end. Right. And so the, the connection that we have in Jesus is kept strong through mainly His Word and His sacrament. That we are connected through our baptism, where we continue to receive his daily forgiveness as we repent daily of our sins through the Lord's Supper that we receive today where we receive the very body and blood of Jesus and that, that love and forgiveness that continually feeds and nourishes our souls so that we bear fruit and we bear fruit as, as the video was showing us of, of loving one another, loving God, keeping his commandments, sharing the good news of his, of his uh, death and resurrection for the whole world. All right, so that's the main uh, video that we're going to see today, and we're going to now sing the song that um, talks about that he is the vine, we are the branches, his banner over me is love. The Lord is mine and I am his, his banner over me is love. The Lord is mine and I am his, his banner over me is love. The Lord is mine and I am His, His banner over me is love. His banner over me is love. He seats me at His banqueting table, His banner over me is love. He seats me at His banqueting table, His banner over me is love. He seats me at his banqueting table, his banner over me is love. 
His banner over me is love. He is the vine and we are His branches. His banner over me is love. He is the vine and we are His branches. His banner over me is love. He is the vine and we are His branches. His banner over me is love. His banner over me is love. Jesus is the rock of my salvation. His banner over me is love. Jesus is the rock of my salvation. His banner over me is love. Jesus is the rock of my salvation. His banner over me is love. His banner over me is love. There's one way to peace through the power of the cross. His banner over me is love. There's one way to peace through the power of the cross. His banner over me is love. There's one way to peace through the power of the cross. His banner over me is love. His banner over me is love. Ahora vamos a ver el video. Jesús, para ayudar, enseñaba usando historias llamadas parábolas. Otras veces usaba ejemplos de cosas que ocurren en la naturaleza. Uno de esos casos ocurrió mientras Jesús estaba enseñando a un grupo de personas mientras estaba en Jerusalén. Jesús le dijo a la multitud, Yo soy la vid verdadera y mi padre es el jardinero. Jesús sabía que la gente de la multitud ese día entendería lo que se necesita para plantar, cultivar y cuidar una vid que da fruto. Al usar esta comparación, Jesús enseñó a la audiencia cómo Dios se preocupa por nosotros. Una vid se planta en buena tierra, se riega y se observa cuidadosamente para ver si se necesita algo para ayudarla a crecer. Las ramas brotan de la vid, algunas dan fruto y otras no. Las ramas que no dan fruto se cortan y se tiran. Estos pasos ayudan a que la vid crezca fuerte, florezca y produzca muchas frutas hermosas y deliciosas. Ese día, la gente en la multitud entendió que una semilla plantada y dejada sola podría crecer y tal vez incluso dar fruto, pero no funcionaría tan bien ni viviría tanto como una atendida con amor. Jesús continuó contando a la multitud que Dios es un jardinero, Jesús es la vid y nosotros somos las ramas. Esto significa que Dios, el jardinero, es nuestro creador y cuidador amoroso. Y Jesús es la vid desde la que nosotros, las ramas, sacamos vida y la capacidad de crecer y dar fruto. La gente de la audiencia ese día comprendió que una rama que no está unida a la vid no puede ni crecer ni dar fruto. Asimismo, Jesús enseñó que sin una conexión con Él, no se puede prosperar. Jesús usaba esta ilustración para ayudarnos a entender que solo en Él encontramos vida plena y abundante. Jesús dejó claro que si una rama no está conectada a la vid, es imposible que esa rama sobreviva. La rama tiene que poder recibir los nutrientes que dan vida a la vid para sobrevivir. Sin extraer todo el poder de la vid, la rama se debilitará, se marchitará y no dará fruto. Estas tristes ramas son cortadas y desechadas. Cuando aceptamos a Jesús como nuestro Salvador y hacemos todo lo posible por obedecerle, somos como ramas conectadas y que extraen plenamente la dulce vida de la vid. Vivir una vida conectada con Jesús nos brinda apoyo, bendición, perdón 
y la promesa de una vida eterna en el cielo. Jesús anhelaba que sus seguidores experimentaran una fuerte conexión con Él. Les explicó que las claves para permanecer conectados son el amor y la obediencia. Jesús nos ama del mismo modo que su Padre lo ama a Él. Jesús explicó que Él muestra el amor de su Padre obedeciendo sus órdenes. Eso significa que para demostrarle a Jesús que lo amamos, lo único que debemos hacer es obedecer sus órdenes. Obedecer las órdenes de Jesús lo hace feliz, y hacer feliz a Jesús nos llenará a nosotros de alegría absoluta. Nuestras vidas se convierten en ramas sanas que proporcionan un fruto maravilloso. Para permanecer conectados a Jesús, debemos obedecer las órdenes de Dios y amar al prójimo del mismo modo que Jesús nos ama a nosotros. Jesús demostró su amor por nosotros viniendo a servir y a través del sacrificio. Nosotros podemos demostrar nuestro amor a los demás ayudando a la gente y anteponiendo las necesidades de los demás a las nuestras. Enfocando nuestra atención, esfuerzo y amor en los demás en lugar de en nosotros mismos, nuestras vidas darán el buen fruto que complace a Dios. Por medio de esta obediencia, nosotros le demostramos a Jesús cuánto lo amamos. Demostrando nuestro amor por Jesús, obedeciendo sus órdenes de amar a los demás, nosotros empezamos a descubrir lo profundo que es su amor por nosotros. Jesús ahora nos llama amigos. Como amigos, nuestra conexión y conocimiento de Jesús florece y se fortalece. Nuestra conexión fortalecida y nuestra fe nos ayudan a prosperar y dar frutos que durarán para siempre. La amistad con Jesús que ha comenzado en esta vida crecerá y prosperará por toda la eternidad. Nuestra conexión con Él nunca terminará. Cruz en medio de... En, atrás del altar, ¿qué es lo que uno se ve? What do you see when you look at the cross behind the altar? You see branches, right? Uno ve ramas y frutas, and also fruit. And if you're, if you're connected to the cross, connected to Jesus, you have life. Apart from him, you can do nothing. Apart de él, no hay nada de vida. Entonces, ¿cómo se conecta con Jesús? Pues, a través del... La pila de bautismo. Are you, are you connected to Jesus through baptism as he lays hold of you and brings you into his kingdom, kingdom of grace, his vineyard, and he continues to sustain you, right? Continua a sostenerte con los sacramentos del altar y la palabra de Dios. Así uno se, se queda conectado. Ahora, produciendo mucho fruto por medio del Espíritu Santo. Muy bien. Y entonces, uh, hoy recibimos la Santa Cena, el verdadero cuerpo y la sang sangre de Cristo para nuestra remisión de pecado. Y entonces, uh, el Padre, como el jardinero, es quien nos cuida. Pero el Padre es el gardener who, who takes care of us, our bodies and most of all our souls, giving us these gifts, his, his word and sacraments. And we come together this morning, then, to, this afternoon, to... Sing the, some praises to God, especially John 3.16. But, but we'll continue now with um, the, the song, Me Alegre, Cuando Me Decían. So, this is a song that says, um, I rejoice when they said to me, let's go to the house of the Lord. All right, vamos a cantar esto. Me alegré cuando me dijeron, vamos a la casa del Señor. Me alegré cuando me dijeron, vamos a la casa del Señor. Ya nuestros pasos de bien en su andar, 
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Spirit. Amen. Beloved in the Lord, let us draw near with a true heart. Confess our sins unto God our Father, asking Him in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to grant us forgiveness. Our help is in the name of the Lord. I said I will confess my transgressions to the Lord. We confess our sins. Most, most merciful God, we confess that we are by nature sinful and unclean. We have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed. By what we have done, by what we have left undone, we have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We justly deserve your present and eternal punishment. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us, forgive us, renew us, and lead us, so that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your holy name. Amen. Almighty God in his mercy has given his Son to die for you, and for his sake forgives you all your sins. As a called and servant of his word, I am announce to you the grace of God and instead by the command of my Lord Jesus Christ, I forgive you all your sins in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Confesamos nuestros pecados a Dios. Oh Dios, nuestro Padre Celestial, confieso que he pecado gravemente contra ti de muchísimas maneras, no solamente con transgresiones manifiestas, sino también con pensamientos y deseos conocidos. Sinceramente me arrepiento de esos delitos que ahora me pesan, y te suplico que en tu gran bondad tengas misericordia de mí. Y por amor de tu amado Hijo Jesucristo, nuestro Señor, me perdonas mis pecados y me ayudas clementemente en mis flaquezas. Amén. Dios poderoso, nuestro Padre Celestial, ha tenido misericordia de nosotros, y por causa de los sufrimientos, muerte y resurrección de su amado Hijo Jesucristo, nuestro Señor, nos perdona todos nuestros pecados. En vista de la confesión que habéis hecho, yo como ministro de la iglesia de Jesucristo os anuncio la gracia y el perdón de Dios. En lugar del Señor Jesucristo y por mandato de Él, os perdono todos los pecados. En el nombre del Padre, y del Hijo, y del Espíritu Santo. Amén. We confess our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, 
and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Pasamos nuestra fe en las palabras del credo apostólico. Creo en Dios Padre, solo poderoso, creador del cielo y de la tierra, y en Jesucristo, su único Hijo, nuestro Señor, que fue concebido por obra del Espíritu Santo, nació de la Virgen María, padeció bajo poder de Poncio Pilatos, fue crucificado, muerto y sepultado, descendió a los infiernos, al tercer día resucitó de entre los muertos, subió a los cielos y está sentado a la diestra de Dios Padre, todo poderoso, y desde allí ha de venir a buscar a los vivos y a los muertos. Creo en el Espíritu Santo, la Santa Iglesia Cristiana, la comunión de los santos, el perdón de los pecados, la resurrección de la carne y la vida perdonable. Amén. Please be seated. Um, we've been singing this Ten Commandments song the uh, past few weeks. And again, as we've been hearing in the video, uh, we bear fruit by loving God and loving our neighbor, the, the keeping the commandments. And uh, this song was written back in 2015. Um, and uh, um, so we, uh, we know it somewhat. And uh, so let's, let's start off by trying singing the Ten Commandments song. You should not have any other gods, any other gods, any other gods. You should not have any other gods, and not misuse his name. Keep the Sabbath holy, keep the Sabbath holy. You should keep the Sabbath holy, and honor your parents too. Don't kill, no adultery. Don't steal and don't tell lies. Don't want or desire what's not yours, what's not yours, what's not yours. You should not have any other gods, any other gods, any other gods. You should not have any other gods and not misuse his name. Keep the Sabbath holy, keep the Sabbath holy. Keep the Sabbath holy and honor your parents too. God sent His Son to die for you and paid for all your sins. Jesus kept law for you, all for you, all for you. So love the Lord with all your heart, with all your mind, and all your strength, and love your neighbor as yourself, because God first loved you. Because God first loved you. Because God first loved you. Again, Nancy Sharp helped us out with that. And uh, so let's continue now with the reading for the, today from Matthew chapter 21. Now, when he came into the temple, the chief priests and the elders of the people confronted him as he was teaching and said, by what authority are you doing these things? And who gave you this authority? But Jesus answered and said to them, I also will ask you one thing, which if you tell me, I likewise will tell you by what authority I do these things. The baptism of John, was it, where was it from? From heaven or from men? And they reasoned among themselves, saying, If we say from heaven, he will say to us, Why then do you not believe him? But if we say from men, we fear the multitude, for I'll count John as a prophet. So they answered Jesus and said, We do not know. And he said to them, Neither will I tell you by what authority I do these things. But what do you think? A man had two sons. And he came to the first and said, Son, go work today in my vineyard. And he answered and said, I will not. But afterward he regretted it and went. 
Then he came to the second and said likewise. And he answered and said, I go, sir. But he did not go. Which of the two did the will of his father? They said to him, the first. Jesus said to them, Assuredly I say to you, that tax collectors and harlots enter the kingdom of God before you. For John came to you in the way of righteousness, and you did not believe him. But tax collectors and harlots believed him, and when you saw it, you did not afterward relent and believe him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We continue with our next song, Jesus Loves Me. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. Jesus loves me, he who died, heaven's gates to open wide. He has washed away my sin, lets his little child come in. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. Jesus loves me, loves me still, when I'm very weak and ill. He does take me by the hand, takes me to the promised land. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. On the cross of Calvary, Jesus died for you and me. In the tomb my Savior lay, but the stone was rolled away. Yes, He is risen, yes, He is risen, yes, He is risen. Christ Jesus lives today. Grace, mercy, and peace to you from God our Father and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. La gracia y misericordia pase en todos ustedes de nuestro Dios el Padre y su Hijo Jesucristo. Amen. God's will is gracious and good always to us. La voluntad, la voluntad de Dios siempre es buena, lleno de gracia. He wants all men to be saved. That's his good and gracious will to repent of their sins, to believe in him, receive Jesus as their Savior, and receive life. La buena voluntad de Dios es siempre que, que uno recibe Dios en su corazón, que, que se salva por medio de Cristo, el Salvador, que se arrepiente de sus pecados, recibe el perdón completo y recibe la vida. And so Jesus tells a parable about two sons. Dice una parábola de dos hijos. Uno se arrepentió, el otro no. One repented, one didn't. He was talking to especially the, the leaders of the church, but he talks to all people. He talks to us today. Habla a nosotros también. Que nosotros siempre recibimos entonces la invitación de nuestro Dios de entrar su vida, su viña. We always also receive the invitation from God to enter his kingdom, his vineyard, to, to come for all is ready. We've been hearing about how this gracious will uh, it was being being shown in other parables that Jesus taught on this Holy Tuesday of Holy Week. And he, he went and he, he told the people, remember that a man had a vineyard. He likes vineyard parables. He went out early in the morning to bring workers into his vineyard. And he said, come, come and I will give you what is just, what is right. God always gives what's good and right. He gives us more than what we deserve. Dios siempre habla en... Parábolas para nosotros, para entender mejor 
su palabra. Entonces, le gustan mucho las parábolas de la viña. Entonces, hace una semana, escuchamos que envió, él fue a buscar obreros, labradores. Ven a trabajar. No están haciendo nada. Ven a mi viña. La voluntad de Dios que busca a la gente. The good and gracious will that seeks out the lost. Invites them to come. And I'll give you what's right. Voy a darte lo que es justo y bueno. No temas. Lo que Dios siempre da es lo mejor que merecemos. Y vamos a ver qué es lo que tan, tan, es, tan es buena. ¿Por qué? ¿Qué pasó? Él siguió dando invitaciones a la gente. He continued giving invitations to the people throughout the day to come and work. Some only worked a little bit. But guess what? The big surprise was they received just as much as the ones who worked all day. Look how light their bags are. Didn't do hardly anything. And yet God was good. His goodwill, he is good in his heart. He graciously gives what we don't deserve. Salvation, eternal life through Jesus. If you want to th try to make it about yourself that you earn salvation, take what's yours. Take what you think you've earned and go. There's no entrance into my vineyard without grace. No hay entrada sin gracia a mi viña. No es, se trata de nuestras obras, se trata del amor de Dios, su buena voluntad. So we've been hearing these vineyard parables about how they murmured and they were complaining. How can you complain against God who has given us freely his son, who has forgiven us all our sins? He is more than fair. Él es más que justo a nosotros. Él nos perdonó completamente de nuestros pecados. I'm not being unfair to you, friend. No soy injusto a ti. Mira tan, tan injusto fue a su propio hijo. Look how he was, uh, how unfair it was to Jesus. That Jesus had to suffer our, our debt, and pay our debt. What he didn't know, he did. Out of great love for us, for a debt that we couldn't pay. Una deuda que no podemos nosotros pagar, él lo hizo de puro amor para nosotros. Así es tan buena la voluntad de nuestro Dios. That's how good the, the, the will of our Father is. Grace, more than we deserve. So, again, we hear another parable today about two sons. Two sons, uh, and we hear that they uh, were both told to go serve in the vineyard, go work in my vineyard. And what happened? Well, the first one said, I'll go. Yes, sir. Or, uh, the, first one say, no, the first one said, I won't go. I don't want to switch around too much. The first one said, no. Flat out, no, I'm not going. And then he went after he repented. And the second one said, I'll go, but then he didn't go. So which of the two did the Father's will? ¿Cuál de los dos hizo la voluntad de su Padre? Pharisees quickly answered and said, well, the one who went, even though he didn't go at first of all. And what did that mean? ¿Qué significa todo esto? Well, sometimes we're invited to a party, right? And when we get the invitation and we quickly say, I'll go. And then do you always keep your word? Do you always go? Someone invites you to come? Sure, I'm going. And when the party starts, person said he was going to go isn't there. That's maybe because something came up, something unexpected, or I forgot, or who knows, there's so many different reasons why a person doesn't come after they said they're going to come. And that for a birthday party or something like that, it's, it's not a, a huge deal, but it is very important when we talk about God's invitation, because that invitation can't be turned down, because if you don't come, then you have lost everything, your life eternal. So God says, this is his gracious will, the will of my Father. Everyone who looks on the Son and believes in him should have eternal life, and I will raise him up on the last day. Esa es la voluntad de nuestro Dios. Que todo aquel que, que ve al Hijo y cree en él tenga vida eterna. Y yo mismo lo resucitaré 
en el día final. Eso es lo que Dios quiere. No quiere perder ninguna persona. Él quiere que todos se salven, que se arrepienten y, y pasen la eternidad en el cielo. Entonces, el primer rico que sí se arrepintió, se arrepintió, ¿por qué? Porque se admitió sus culpas y recibió el gran perdón de Cristo. Se conectó con Cristo, David, y entonces el que queda en él tiene vida en él. Yo soy conectado y tiene mucho fruto. Aparte de mí, no puede hacer nada. So the son who repented and received Christ received life. The, the ones who, who didn't have anything to offer, the tax collectors, the, the, the harlots, the ones with bad reputations, They're, those are the ones that, that first of all said no, but then they heard the good news, they heard that Jesus loves them too, and he loves you and me too, and he calls on us to repent, as we did in the beginning of service, and receive complete forgiveness of our sins. That's where God is who loves us. The person who, who says, I'll go, but then doesn't go, doesn't repent, well, that person thinks he can go to heaven on his own good works, doesn't need God's grace. God says, apart from me, you can do nothing. Yo soy la vid, y ustedes son las ramas. El que permanece en mí, como yo en él, dará mucho fruto, separados de mí. No pueden ustedes hacer nada. Así, gracias a Dios. Y ustedes están conectados con Cristo, y entonces tienen una, una vida abundante de su amor, de su gracia. No se aparte de él, siempre sigue. En, en, en él, recibiendo su palabra, recibiendo el sacramento, para que su fe crezca y produzca mucho, mucho amor, el amor de Dios, porque Dios nos amó primero. Y la paz que sobrepasa nuestro entendimiento, guarda en sus mentes y corazones en Cristo Jesús. Amén. All right, we receive the offering. And as we receive the offering, we'll sing, God is so good. God is so good, God is so good, God is so good, He's so good to me. I fell away, I fell away, I fell away, fell away in sin. God sent His Son. God sent His Son, God sent His Son, sent His Son for me. Died on the cross, died on the cross, died on the cross, on the cross for me. Rose from the dead, rose from the dead. Rose from the dead, from the dead for me. Now I have life, now I have life, now I have life, life eternally. As God loved me, as God loved me, as God loved me, I will love you too. God is so good. God is so good. God is so good. He's so good to me. We continue with the Lord's Prayer. Please stand. Nos ponemos de pie. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the glory, power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Ahora cantamos el Padre Nuestro. 
Padre nuestro que estás en el cielo, santificado, santificado sea tu nombre. Venganos tu reino, Señor, hágase tu santa voluntad en la tierra como en el cielo se hace tu santa voluntad. Padre nuestro, que estás en el cielo, santificado, santificado, sea tu nombre. Danos hoy, danos hoy, Señor, nuestro pan, el pan de cada día, y perdona nuestras deudas, así como nosotros perdonamos. Padre nuestro, que estás en el cielo, santificado, santificado, sea tu nombre. No nos dejes caer en tentación, antes bien, líbranos del mal. No nos dejes caer en tentación, líbranos del mal. Padre nuestro, que estás en el cielo, santificado, santificado. Sea tu nombre. In our prayers today, we continue to lift up Joe in our prayers that he would recover uh, completely from his injury. We pray, pray for Florencia. Is there any other special prayers this day? Oraciones especiales que queremos incluir, Rubén y Karina. Jorge, oh, Nerea. Okay, muy bien. Oremos. Padre Celestial, tan grande es tu amor, tu tu gran misericordia para nosotros que siendo pecadores desocupados nos invitaba a ser parte de su reino de gracia por medio de Cristo y su gran sacrificio en la cruz. Gracias por siempre hacernos parte de, de tu reino por la fe en Cristo. Y gracias por conectarnos con la vida que, que nos, dé, nos dé perdón, vida y también el, el, el gozo de servirte en tu viña. Oh, Señor, esté con los que están uh, necesitando tu mano uh, sanadora. Especialmente encomendamos a tu, ma a tu misericordia a Joe González y Karina y Mireia, Jorge y, y también Rubén. Y sigamos orando por Florencia. Oh, Señor, eh, tú eres grande y, y poderoso. Y cuando estamos débiles, tú eres más fuerte. Y por y su gracia es suficiente para nosotros. Según tu misericordia y tu buena voluntad, ayúdales y ayúdales también a tener más fe en ti. Oh, Señor, pedimos especialmente que, que termine la guerra que están enfrentándose en Israel. Oh, Señor, rescata, rescata a las personas que necesitan tu, tu ayuda y conforta a, a todos los que están en, en tristeza con tu palabra de, de Cristo nuestro Salvador. En, su, en él hay vida, aún en la muerte. Eso pedimos en su santo nombre. Amén. The Lord be with you. 
El Señor esté con usted. Lift up your hearts. Eleven sus corazones. Los elevamos al Señor. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give Him thanks and praise. Demos gracias a nuestro Señor, nuestro Dios. Dárselas es digno y justo. Our Lord Jesus Christ, in the night when He was betrayed, took bread, and when He had given thanks, He broke it, and gave it to His disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body given for you, this do in remembrance of me. Nuestro Señor, en la noche que fue entregado, tomó pan, habiendo dado gracias, lo partió, y dio a sus discípulos, diciendo, Tomen, comen, ese es mi cuerpo dado por ti, hagan esto en memoria de mí. In the same way also he took the cup after supper, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink of it, all of you. This cup is a new testament in my blood, shed for you for the remission of sins. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. En la misma manera tomó la copa después de haber cenado, habiendo dado gracias a Dios a ellos diciendo, Beben de ella todos. Esta copa es el nuevo testamento de mi sangre, derramado por ti, para misión de los pecados. Hagan eso todas las veces que beben, en memoria de mí. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. La paz del Señor se con ustedes siempre. Amen. Welcome to the Lord's table. Bienvenidos a la mesa del Señor.
Please stand, nos ponemos de pie. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, and his mercy endures forever. Dad gracias al Señor, porque él es bueno, y por siempre es su misericordia. The Lord be with you. El Señor se con ustedes. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Bendigamos al Señor. Demos gracias a Dios. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his favor upon you and give you peace. Amen. El Señor te bendiga y te guarde. Haga el Señor resplandecer su rostro sobre ti y tenga de ti misericordia. Vuelve el Señor su rostro a ti y te conceda la paz. Amen. And we'll finish up by singing the praise God from our blessings flow. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creature here below. Praise Him above the heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him above the heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him above ye heavenly hosts. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. Go in peace and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Vayan en paz, sirviendo al Señor. Demos gracias a Dios.